What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to Fightcast, where it all goes down. So, in today's news, um, Justin Gaethje uh, has called out Conor uh, McGregor, and uh, I don't think he's going to be accepting this whatsoever. Um, Justin Gaethje has just knocked out Edson Barboza in the first round, and then he came back and knocked out another unsuspecting victim in the first round, Cowboy uh, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. So, this is going to be ridiculous if he actually accepts this fight, if Conor accepts this fight, as you can see. He hasn't said anything quite yet. He just said something about Dustin Poirier because he's already knocked him out. Look at my cat. 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 Yeah, so two fight nights are going to be actually coming on today. Not today, but this week, next week. Bruh. I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, Rodriguez is fighting Jeremy Stevens. What a matchup. We're going to see exactly what happens in this one. Because it could go like mauling. Jeremy Stevens could get like totally mauled by Yair Rodriguez because of just all the output that Yair Rodriguez has and all the crazy ass striking that he does. Um, but Jeremy Stevens has an amazing chin and he can knock your fucking head off. And so that's the thing. So, I mean, he might be waiting for these kicks just so he could just throw one of those looping overhands and try to just knock Yair Rodriguez down. And then after that, just rain him, just make it rain. Yeah, because. He did this old boy uh, from uh, the Team Alpha Mel and fucked up his orbital bone. Yeah, I was like, damn, this is crazy. So we're going to see exactly what happens with this whole ordeal. On the same car is going to be Carla Esparza versus Alexa Grasso. Uh, okay, that's number eight versus number nine. You have Rodriguez versus Jeremy Stephens. That's actually number seven in Featherweight versus number eight at Featherweight. Here being number seven, Jeremy Stephens being number eight. Carla Esposa, Esparza being number eight, and Alexa Grasso being number nine. So that's that's pretty cool there. They got Brandon Moreno versus Askar Askarov. What a name. His name is Askarov. So, yeah, that's going to be uh, taking off for the fly rates right there. Irene Aldana versus Vanessa Mello. And Martin Bravo versus Steve, Steven Peterson. This dude has great chest tattoos. Amazing chest tattoos. So... Nobody um, excruciatingly notable, but some really good guys, really good, really good matchups here that they can go ahead and put out. Carlos Sparza versus Alexa Grasso is going to be a, eh, that's a big fight. That's a pretty good fight. Um, I mean, I don't know exactly where it's going to get them. It's definitely going to get them further up the rankings, you know, being number seven and number eight. It's not going to do, it's not going to bring you into title contention. Title contention. Title. I want that title. You want that time? I want that time. Yeah, so I would think, let me see here. I'm just looking around on this one because it has the statistics. Statistics. Statistical. Oh, goodness. So, real good stuff, though. We'll go over the next one now, real fast. So, you guys go ahead and see this craziness from Manson versus Cannoneer. Oh! That fight's going to be ridiculous. Romanson versus Cannonier. Dude, dude. All right, Jack Romanson just put a beat down, a beat down on um, what the dude, what's to do with the chompers? Uh, it's the dude, Jacare, Jacare Souza. Yes, yeah, put a beat down on Jacare. And literally, before that, put a beat down on uh, David Branch, who just popped for some kind of steroid type stuff. So, yeah, I mean, he's coming right now, bro. I mean, uh, uh, man, Jack Romanson is ready to go. He's about to go against Jared Cannonier. Jared Cannonier is huge for 185 pounds. Huge. Um, fucking stopped Anderson Silva. Uh, first round. Yeah, yeah. Jared Cannonier is whew, he's a monster. On that same card, they're going to have Mark Madsen versus Danilo Baluardo. And also Gunnar Nelson versus Gilbert Burns. Gunnar Nelson versus Gilbert Burns. Think about that matchup. Both jiu-jitsu fucking kings, okay? Both ju I mean, Gunnar Nelson is a monster in jiu-jitsu circuits. A monster in, ju in jiu-jitsu circuits. Okay, and he's going to go and be going, oh my gosh, Gilbert Burns? Gilbert Burns, like, has his own gym. He teaches, has a whole bunch of fucking students. What are you doing, fool? So, yeah, it's really, like, going down like that. Cut right here. It's like, come, what are you doing? All right, so 
go down that. So we're going to see exactly what happens with this. I, I oh man, yeah, with me, I got, I want to go with Gilbert Burns on this one just because he has heavier hands. But that's going to be a cray cray matchup right there, a cray cray matchup. So we're going to see exactly what's going to happen with that. But, but yeah, they got some good fights on this one. Um, another notable fight uh, is going to be Khalil Roundtree Jr. versus Ian Cataloba. Cantalaba. His, his name is Ian, Ian uh, Cutalaba. And, uh, man, Khalil Roundtree has nasty kicks now, nasty hands. He went down to that uh, Muay Thai camp, started training in Thailand and all those other places. Man, this dude's a monster now. Uh, Ian's coming off a win as well, a uh, knockout victory. A head kick. So, yeah, this is going to be a great matchup right here. We don't know exactly what's going to happen. Same card. Uh, we're going to have Vince State Crew coming back against Michael Olawenshik. Yeah, it's a crazy name right there. And then uh, Nicholas Dobby versus Alex Alavera. Alex Alavera. That's about to go down. He's about to go down. It's about to go down. Let me see here. So, crazy fights, man. Like, all together. Uh, like, that's just... That's next weekend. That's all next weekend right there. So, yeah, get, get ready for cray crayness in your life. Cray crayness in my, yes, yeah, Saturday, September 28th. That's going to actually be going down to like 11 a.m. So you got to get there early. There's going to be some early flights right there. Saturday, September 28th at 11 a.m. All right. So this fight night card, though. That's happening in a night. I believe that's happening on ESPN Plus. How they always say it on uh, this channel I watch. ESPN Plus. So that's going to be happening on ESPN Plus. Saturday, September 21st at 5 p.m. It begins. Oh, shoot. That's just a little early. All right. <laughs> Where's the prelim start? Prelim started already? Prelim start at 2 or something. Yeah, damn, like 2 o'clock. Damn. All right. Okay, now I understand. I gotta go main card. Main card, 5 p.m. Sun. All right, we'll do that. So, you guys, we're gonna see you guys later here. I'm about to get to watching these forts. See you soon. On the flip side, back on another episode of Fightcast.